Good morning. Happy Monday, March 22nd, Rowlett Middle Academy, students, scholars, and staff members. Uh, hopefully you had a great spring break. I know I did. I had a chance to sleep in uh, a few days. I uh, had a chance to spend time with family, uh, with our puppy, uh, and also get some fresh air. It was beautiful weather. Uh, I realized that we lost an hour of sleep through uh, daylight saving time, but we had a whole week for our bodies to get readjusted to this time change. So uh, I know you're all ready to go today. I know you're so excited about beginning fourth quarter with the end of the school year in mind. And I, I must just say, and you've heard me say this before, I am just so proud of our students and our staff members here at Rowlett Middle Academy. You know, what a school year, what a transformational school year. Um, a lot of challenges, of course, this school year, but I happen to try to find the, the positives in all of life situations because change happens in life and there will be times in life where we have to pivot, we have to um, think quick on our feet, we have to readjust to make sure that we can be successful both uh, at school, at work and at home. And this was definitely one of those school years. And I, I, I think that there will be a number of things that we will learn about ourselves, about our schools, about our our homes, about our communities that will make us better people, better educators, better learners, better student leaders. And I want to focus on those positives that we've learned this school year and how we can uh, carry those forward to the future. Um, whether it's things like, you know, we've really improved our, our, our leadership on campus. Um, we've really learned how to teach and learn during COVID-19. Um, you know, I think we're better organized. I think we've improved our empathy and kindness towards others. Um, I think we've become more resilient. Uh, you know, we, we have grit when it takes a lot of effort to get through all the challenges uh, through this school year. And we've learned how to adapt to change and how to, 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 um, to know that the sun will come up tomorrow if we continue to march towards our goals, we continue to do our very best, inside and out, we continue to treat others the way that we wanna be treated. Um, we know that um, we'll continue to move forward in a positive way. So that's what we wanna do here as a school. Uh, we wanna to continue to build on each quarter, on uh, each day, and uh, just continue to uh, meet all of our students where you are academically, behaviorally. What that means is every student is at a different level. Right, And we wanna make sure that we give you what you need to be successful. And that means something different for each of you. Just like, you know, we want all of you to do very well in your grades, in your testing, um, but you're all individuals and we don't judge you the same. All we ask is that you show growth. All of you can do that. All of us can do that. Um, all we ask is that you do a little better tomorrow that you did today and your effort goes uh, a long way towards that, your, your positive mindset, your attitude, right? How you respect your teachers, how you respect your school and your school work, all those things go into, you know, you uh, putting your best foot forward and making sure that you show growth each day, 
each quarter uh, while at school, okay? So I just wanted to talk to you about that a little bit. I do realize that this is a year that you will be talking about, we will be talking about for, for decades, for a very long time. Let's make sure that we pull the best out of this school year and make sure we learn from the things that we, we had challenges on, okay? Continuous improvement. Uh, that really is the, the mindset. We wanna get better every day, whether it's sports, whether it's the arts, whether it's math, okay? Um, like I said, we don't expect everybody to have straight A's, to get fours and fives on all of their tests, uh, to get 100%. But we do expect is for you to be engaged, for you to do your very best, for you to ask questions when you need help, and for you to show growth, right? And that's really the name of the game, showing growth. So our focus for fourth quarter, and you've heard me say this before, um, I know I sound like a broken record, like my dad does, uh, but I feel like if you hear me say these things enough, maybe when Mr. Clark's not around, you'll still hear those words in your brain, and hopefully it will uh, help you make that better choice in the time of need, help you not give up and put your pencil down and maybe push forward to, to complete that test, or it, it helps you uh, instead of just not turning an assignment, you email your teacher and, and say, hey, uh, Mr. Clark, do you mind if, you know, um, I get some, some, some more uh, insight on how to answer this question or, or can I turn this in? That's, what, that's my hope, okay? So I'm sorry if it sounds like a bro broken record, uh, but hopefully these, um, um, uh, these comments start to, to stick in your brain. So be ready to learn. What does that mean? By fourth quarter, we should all know that. It means to bring your agenda into class, to make sure you bring that positive mindset. You had your pencils, headphones, uh, completed assignments uh, to be successful in each of your classes. Um, if you turn in every assignment, you will be successful. If you turn in every assignment, you will be successful. Now, of course, we want you to turn them on time, turn them in on time, and your teachers give, are communicating well with you on that, but you gotta get it in, okay? Uh, and we're here to support you if you have questions. Communicate, uh, being ready to learn, uh, communicating with your teachers, those things go hand in hand, okay? Make sure you're sending those emails, make sure you're raising your hand in class or via Zoom. Um, make sure you're communicating via, via Blooms as well or via Google Classroom. All those means of communication are here to help and support you, okay? And lastly, respect. Uh, respect, of course, starts with ourselves. Uh, making sure we respect ourselves, our brain, our, our, our work ethic, right? And treating others the way that we want to be treated. We want to make sure we keep our hands, feet, negative comments to ourselves. Uh, I noticed last quarter, a lot more horseplay. And you know that horseplay leads to negative choices. Sometimes friends horseplaying with each other, one takes it too far, and then it becomes an issue when we push or shove or... Uh, hopefully not putting our hands on each other in, a, in a, an aggressive way on our campus because we don't, um, we don't fight here, okay? So um, make sure you continue to respect yourselves and those around you. Um, please and thank you are the magic words when you're going through the cafeteria, when you're around campus. Uh, you guys do that effortlessly, so I greatly appreciate that. And uh, make sure you respect your technology. No inappropriate pictures, texts, uh, messages, things like that. We are monitoring these devices, these tech books. Uh, they are here for uh, your learning and not for just for fun, okay? So please make sure you continue to respect your technology and uh, make sure that you're not out of area. Make sure you are respectful of uh, the path that you must take in order to get to class. And um, just make sure wherever you are, there's an adult and you are visible um, to all adults on campus. And we have adults strategically placed around campus to help you get to your way, but also to make sure you're not misbehaving uh, while on the way to class. So sorry for the long message. We missed you so much over spring break. I had so much to get in that um, I just wanted to make sure I communicated that with you uh, so we can prepare ourselves to have a successful fourth quarter, to have a successful day today, and to have a, a successful week. Okay, so remember, um, you are what you think. Let's make sure we have positive thoughts as we go throughout our day. Um, everybody starts off with an A. Congratulations, you're welcome. Uh, let's make sure we work very hard to, to maintain those good grades uh, by communicating, uh, respecting ourselves and our fellow classmates and everybody else on campus, and of course, being ready to learn.
So have a great day. Have a great quarter. Uh, we missed you. We'll see you around campus. And remember to continue to be the change that you want to see at RMA. Lastly, I'm sorry, word of the week, inconceivable, which means um, not capable of being imagined or grasped, essentially unbelievable. It is inconceivable that it is already fourth quarter. Uh, this year has been flowing by, but when you're around people you care about and you love, uh, it tends to happen. So uh, have a great day, have a great week, great fourth quarter, and uh, we'll see you around campus. Thanks.